Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE. Welcome to another episode of Video News Roundup. This week in Long Beach, California, aerospace and defense suppliers, contractors, and manufacturers gather for the AeroDef Conference, produced by the Society for Manufacturing Engineers, known as SME. One of the growing areas of interest for the attendees at the show is the deployment of digital twins. This is not just twin for objects such as jet engines and helicopters, but also of entire factory floors and plants and processes. Think of it as having a digital replica of what's happening on the floor. This type of ability is the highlight of exhibitors such as JR Automation, a system integrator. The ability to visualize a factory floor or a plant floor's activities, then simulate them to find answers to what-if scenarios and questions, is a specialty of another exhibitor, Siemens. Siemens solutions such as SimCenter bridges the virtual and the real world for testing and simulation. It's built on classic Siemens software such as Annex and TeamCenter. For the aerospace and defense industry, the digital twin mission comes with the security burden. The talks here highlight the concerns for cyber-physical security, the need to prevent hackers from gaining access to the physical products and operations by hacking into your digital twins or your digital infrastructure. Creating digital twins require having a digital version of the physical products, be it a piece of factory equipment or an aerospace part. Vendors such as Creoform, an exhibitor at the show, plays a role with offering industrial scanning devices to let you capture the shape of existing design and products. Also at the show are additive manufacturing systems makers such as 3D systems. The ability to 3D print durable parts in metal or metal-like compounds with designs with integrated patterns is part of the lightweighting trend. Parts that are not solid yet just as strong are something difficult to produce with traditional machining or molding but quite easily possible with 3D printing. For those who cannot afford to own and maintain a printing system themselves, many vendors such as 3D Systems now offer on-demand production for the desired volume. Now moving from the sprawling show floors of aero depth to tiny microchips and semiconductors. This week, simulation software maker ANSYS is acquiring DFR Solutions, known for its Sherlock Electronics Design Analysis software. Sherlock software can be used to simulate and verify temperature and power cycling, harmonic vibration, mechanical shock and bending, among others. The acquisition let ANSYS own part of a piece of the electronics design software market, increasingly becoming an important aspect in the era of IoT. DFR Solutions clients are in avionics, aerospace, automotive, consumer electronics, industrial, mechanical, defense, and telecommunications. By combining its own software with Sherlock, Ansys wants to offer a designer-level toolkit. That is all the news for this week. For more, go to Digital Engineering 24-7. That is digitalengineering247.com. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel called DE Streamings. I'm Kenneth Wong for DE, signing off. Music